Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing good. Um, if you can see, baby Faye's joined us today. So today is going to be her eight week update. I can't believe she's already eight weeks old. I'm going to show you guys to her, but if you can hear some like little grunting noises, that is because she's right here. Um, but yeah, she is eight weeks old now. She was eight weeks old on Saturday. I can't believe how fast the time's going. It's just flying by so, so fast. Um, I'm just enjoying every single second of that. But yeah, if you want to know how Faye is getting on and how I'm getting on, then please just keep watching. So yeah, like I said, she is now eight weeks old and she now weighs 11 pound two. And she was on the 91st centile for weight. She's on like the 50th centile for height and head circumference and stuff. But she just, this girl likes her food so much. She still has messy hair. She still has so, so much hair, like her hair is growing so, so fast. Um, she is in naught to three clothes. Um, she still fits into her... <coughs> oh dear. She fits into like up to one month and naught to three clothes still at the minute. Um, a couple of her newborn outfits, like first size outfits still fit her. So she's just like fluctuating in between basically like naught to three. Um, yeah, she is still exclusively breastfed. Um, I actually introduced one formula feed a day at like 10, 11 p.m. just to help her settle and she's not had that in a week now. So she's literally exclusively breastfed now, no more formula bottle. Um, and I sometimes express feed, so like Ashley can feed her or like just so it's there in the freezer for like anything because you just never know what's gonna happen. Um, so like say I have a really bad night with her say I have like a really bad night with her. She's not in a good mood today. So I have a bad night with her or something, like at least I can ask someone else to feed her and not be like tied down by the fact that I've got no milk for her and she's like only relying on me. Or like if I want a glass of wine or something, like I've, I can, like I'm not depriving myself. Whereas when I had Charlie, like I felt like I was a little bit deprived when I was breastfeeding, but this time I actually don't. We went to a wedding last night and I actually had a gin and tonic. And it was delicious and I really really enjoyed it. Anyway, besides the fact. Um, sleeping, oh my god, this is like she's like the best newborn, but also like the worst newborn. She's the worst newborn in the sense that she literally doesn't sleep in the day hardly. Like she likes to be awake, she likes to be sat up, she likes to be like alert and everything. And then at night time she sleeps all night. She's like the best baby at night time. So we put her down for bed at like half past nine at night. And then she'll generally wake around like three to four a.m. for a tiny feed. All right, Margie pants. Don't smile at me, madam. Mind your hand. So yeah, I put her down at about half past nine at night and then she wakes in between three and four for a tiny feed so she doesn't have a full feed at night and then she'll go back to sleep until about seven-ish and then she generally will have like another little top-up feed and then she'll sleep till about half past eight-ish um, and then she's generally up for quite a lot of the day to be honest and then she'll settle back down around four-ish again um, but she generally will like be really really settled like in the evening time Ah, when you feed her then your other boob leaks it hurts so bad charlie was like still waking at like the age of one and stuff obviously like i'm anticipating like changes to her sleep pattern like especially like with sleep regressions and like the feeding pattern might change and stuff so i'm not gonna like you know be too too excited about it just yet that's but i think that's pretty much it with her at the minute like she's feeding good she weighs good i love how i say she's feeding good and then she chokes as far as me recovery wise, I'm literally 100% like myself again. Like I'll insert a picture of my scar actually. It looks so, so good. It's so neat and just like so like not what I anticipated. But also like she's just turned eight weeks old and I feel literally 100% better. Sometimes I get like a little bit of like a twingy feeling like when I twist too much. But other than that, literally, I feel like 100% fine. My scar as well, you can see where the stitches were because I did have removable stitches and the stitches were done too tightly. So I do have like a little bit of extra scar, extra scarring, which they said would fade, but um, I'm not really too bothered about that. Um, the only thing is like, um, I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight again now and I've actually just started Slimming World 
I'm actually starting a new series on my channel, which I've just actually filmed, um, a weight loss series, because I just really want to lose weight as well. But obviously with a section, you end up with like a little bit of a pouch where they have to cut through obviously all the skin and stuff. So I'm excited to see how the weight loss goes and everything. And hopefully I can like get that little pouch under control. Um, what else? So period wise and everything, like a few people were interested in this. So this time around, I bled a lot less. Obviously with a section, they suck a lot of the excess like blood out anyway. Um, but with Charlie, I think I bled for about eight weeks or so. And then I stopped bleeding and then I didn't have a period for months and months and months. And he was exclusively breastfed as well. But with her, I only bled for about, I can't even remember, she's only eight weeks old. I think I bled for about five weeks, stopped for a couple of days, and then my period started. So I've already had my first period since having her. I mean, I think it was a period, I presume it was a period, because I did stop bleeding, like birth bleeding, you know, for a few days. Whether that started again, I'm not sure. But um, the reason I think it's a period is because I had a lot of backache, um... And just I was uncomfortable and everything and I wasn't when I was just bleeding from her so I think I've already had a my first period which is just delicious um, can't wait to be having them again but I'm wondering what's gonna happen with my periods because if you remember like when I first fell pregnant I hadn't had a period in like I can't remember how many months it was but I fell pregnant without having periods my periods actually stopped completely like four to six months before I found out I was actually pregnant so I don't know if my periods are going to restart again, like if this pregnancy has been like a restart, a boost for my cycles, I don't know. So I'm not looking forward to seeing if they come back or not. Are you going to sleep? But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Like I feel good, like my mental health is in like such a good position at the minute. Um, Housewise and health wise, do you know when you just feel like you're in a good place? That is exactly where I am right now, so I'm just going to enjoy this little place that I'm in. But yeah, I think that's it for this video, really. She is... She's doing good. I'm doing good. Charlie's doing good. Everyone is just doing good. I think she wants more milk, guys, so I'm going to have to love you and leave you. I will update you again soon. But that was it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye-bye.